welcome to quick learning today we are going to learn another very exciting transaction code in SCP PM module that is used to get complete details of any material code and its uses that transaction is MM03 to start we will just write MM03 in our transaction tab and we will press enter upon uh, pressing enter you will see a simple screen that has only one argument in which we have to put some value that is material so if we remember some material code or if we know the exact material code for which we want to get all the information we will just write it here for example I write this material code or I write this material code for spare parts but for example if I do not exactly know the material code I can just search it down by pressing that uh, uh, glass button this window will appear in front of you and uh, it is uh, making us enable to search any material code through its description so to search we will we will write to asterisks and we will write something uh, in between for example I like I write heating controller for example this is the material that I want to search upon pressing enter you will see that this uh, material code will appear in front of you that has the same description as I have entered 600 I will select this one and this will appear in my uh, main tab I will press enter and it will ask me what is the data that I want to see for this material code these are the options basic data basic data 2 purchasing foreign trade uh, purchase order text MRP 1 2 3 4 regarding the MRP settings general data accounting relocation stock etc so for example I want to see all of these uh, options and all of these available data tabs for this I will select all of these I will press a shift plus F8 or this uh, select all button so what it will do that uh, it will select all these options I will press enter and you will see that this is now asking me about my plant for which I want to see this data I will press enter and it will it is saying that this material does not exist uh, for this this plant so in this way if, if some material uh, code is not visible is not uh, uh, extended on a particular plant then no data will be visible for that plant so now I have removed the plant and I am asking you to just show me the this data irrespective of the plant so now you will see that this window will appear in front of you we are in the main tab we are in the first tab that is basic data one and it is showing us this is the material code this is the description this is the unit of measure this is the material group that is very important for this material code similarly the gross with other things are empty and this is the uh, this belongs to the you can see mechanical uh, main category that is that should be corrected this is not correct similarly in basic data too we can go, we will see that this information is available for the purchasing you can see for purchasing this data is available unit of measure purchase group uh, and these are the material part number or the manufacturer part numbers for this particular material code two of them are entered here this one and this one so these are the manufacturer part numbers for example the it is if it actually belongs to Siemens or uh, Schneider electric etc so the, the the exact manufacturer who has created this material uh, element or uh, material item its part number will be entered here similarly going to next tab we have foreign trade import parameters which are not visible purchasing order text which is again empty then MRP per one parameters this is very important we have to enter the plant but this is not extended on 3003 so it, it will not be visible here so, so for the MRP parameter tabs we must enter the relevant plant for which uh, that uh, that material code is extended 
because the MRP parameters differ from plant to plant and line to line depending upon their usage. Similarly, the last tab, or no, no, it's not last. The plant storage data, this tab, the plant data to accounting. Again, it is asking the plant, so it will not be visible to us. So you can see that this is the transaction that is helping us to get all the available details of any material code uh, that are in SAP. Some of the tabs are particularly relevant to the specific plants or they differ from plant to plant. So that's why it is asking us to enter the exact plant number. But for the other uh, tabs which are generic for all the plants which we can easily see them. So you can see this is very basic and very useful transaction uh, that is helping us to view the details of details of all the things of that uh, plant of that material code. Similarly, I have entered another material code that is block KHS filter insert. I have entered 3003 and it has you know it is showing me the values. I will go forward to see what are the options that are available i will go in mrp so you can see when i have entered the plant the mrp one two three four tabs are visible now i'm, I'm in mrp one so it is showing me that the purchasing group is 240 mrp group is 800 080 and uh, no planning is required for this material code and uh, there is no maximum lot size no reorder value because this is the this is the material code that does not require reordering or any safe stock or any regular consumption trend so therefore it is being ordered and it will be procured and used based upon its usage and the current requirement only so that's that is all uh, about this particular transaction code mm03 from my side it is very useful you can use it in daily routine in uh, the pm module specifically so for any questions regarding this transaction or uh, other sap related uh, transactions you can just write in our comments tab please like share this video and subscribe to our channel and until next time bye bye